ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have another sequence cast. This game just finished five minutes ago, and uh, since it's getting late now, uh, the game dried up, so I thought why not make another cast. So um, let's have a look at the teams. Um, down here uh, we have MNB uh, on his only spot where he is not top level. He's still good. Um, he's of course always uh, uh, very creative but uh, from sheer air power I think uh, this is his weakest spot here on beach we have uh, Zock uh, who has uh, kind of returned to seasons uh, which is good uh, he's Siren on beach and on front we have Jukebox Hero um, known as Magfly from uh, GTG um, he did not play or not play that frequently, but he's always uh, trying to give his best. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Whatever. Here on rock, uh, we have me um, I'm playing here. Uh, so across from me, this is Ice Crow. I think he has been in some of my recent recent casts as well. Um, I expect me to win. Uh, on front, uh, this is Galactic Fear, uh, the best seasons player uh, at this time. And um, he's against Jukebox, uh, which uh, will put Jukebox in all kinds of trouble, I guess. Uh, on Rock, uh, this is uh, Carlos, or Carlitos. Uh, I think his name is Carlos. Uh, he is. Uh, uh, I think he's probably close to Mice in terms of games played and he's a very seasoned, uh, seasoned player. And, uh, he took kind of a break also but he's getting back into it when, when, when he is um, in practice he's always uh, a very good player on basically on most spots. And on air, uh, we have Fukuto for the top side, French player. <coughs> mm, yeah. I know he hates UEF and he hates UEF um, on the air spot, but he always, when he's air, he's UEF. So let's have a look what he can do against the MB. We're going to speed it up a bit. Um, we'll focus on the mid fight. We see an engineer by Jukebox Hero. Uh, there is no, or oh, there is one engineer for uh, Galactic Fear, and uh, Jukebox bought, bought a scout and two Auroras, and um, uh, MNB went for an early scout. Uh, Juke must be careful that those um, Auroras don't get shot by the commander. Yes, and he successfully killed the engineer, but in the process he lost his engineer. So. Um, terms of the island there is no transport yet at four minutes for Carlos um, and Sock has some interest also he's trying to deny with interceptors but Carlos has more um, over here um, I took my island um, there was actually an early interceptor by Ice Crow but Ice Crow chose to not um, tried to kill my transport or he didn't see it or whatever. Uh, I think it might have actually gotten the transport and you know, forced me to drop it. Mm, and here uh, Zuck wanted to get the island. Uh, this is a transport. It looks like there are a couple of mantis in also. Hard to tell. Maybe labs. This is probably... Uh, yeah, this is light assault boats. Um, but of course he had to drop it because of the air and now uh, he's there's no chance to get the island probably. He's trying though. Um, I'm not sure if it will work. The transport already slightly damaged. Uh, this is critical. Uh, there is some air from Ice Crow. So it drops the transport again. Maybe it would be smart to unload the engineer, oh he does it. 
and that's good. You can get some reclaim. He's deciding to get an air factory. So um, there is almost all mass gone in the front, and uh, Galactic Fear is getting an upgrade. This is Tech 2 under Commander. Uh, McFly is doing the same. Um, in terms of reclaim, Gala got uh, 8k, and uh, Jukebox got 6k. Uh, it's already uh, some trees reclaimed and stuff, but uh, it looks like Gala got like 2k more. <coughs> So there is not a lot of um, early navy, actually there is none. There is not a single a navy yard on the map at 8 minutes. Like if he was getting take 2 PD here, um, Jokebox does the same for the first, he's building into 2 PDs. This is not good, he should reclaim this. Or maybe if it's under the sheet range, but um, I don't think he will uh, be able to hold that position. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Sok is doing some nice bombing on, on uh, the engineers. Another bomb. But there is already Tech 1 AA, and those uh, frigates also have good um, Tech 1 AA. So um, now, when the second AA is up, I think it's time to stop the bombardment. Or maybe try to fly in from another angle, like over the island here, and kill some engineers. There is one sub uh, for um, Ice Core. There is a sub for me as well. I think I spot the sub somehow and to it. Mm -hmm. And now um, you see all the red pings. Um, uh, I mean, I did not see the bomber, it was not scouted. But once he scouts the island there, I know the bomber is coming and pinging. Uh, actually, um, it's 13 minutes and it's a galactic fear. Uh, MNB. Uh, has his first uh, ASF out, it seems. It's really fun late. And for me, it's always bad. And I did not expect um, actually to lose air early, so that's why I don't have a cruiser on my island yet. As you can see, it's done now, but um, that's, that, that's a pity. And I mean, I'm so much ahead, and now I lose. Um, oh, wow. This is. Um, like 45 mass, 50 mass income almost. Um, it's bad, this was all take 2 with storages. Uh, but, um, now we um, there are two cruisers here. And uh, MB just waited to, um, to win the air fight, uh, which is okay, I guess. Even though it uh, cost me like uh, almost half of my economy because. I uh, have those engineers on the island, so I built um, the storages on the island rather early, so um, you can see not all my max is kept on the main base, so 50 or 45 mass income is uh, quite huge, um, so I would be at 180 now. Um, actually, I'm slightly behind in economy now, uh, losing 5 out of 18 max is that early. So Quite huge. Anyway, and Jukebox is uh, holding Gala off, and uh, we can see Galactic Fear um, getting heavily involved in Navy now. And, uh, there's a lot of um, build power movement to this Navy yard. And he decides to um, to help uh, uh, Carlos, uh, which is probably a good idea because. Uh, 
number of two ships. There's like three destroyers, four sock. Yeah, well, I s it still looks like um, this is a bigger force. It's also more concentrated. Um, Carlos should like uh, retreat into Tessa. Um, Oh, there is some payback. Um, if this bomber will die, it was just one max kill. Maybe get this one. Nope, it doesn't. Um, it was unlucky. He bombed the tech 3 and not the tech 2 max. Galactic Fierce uh, Force in mid is getting bombed. Uh, not bombed, uh, well. <laughs> getting shot uh, by both navies now. This is three destroyer uh, against just one. Probably should have pushed here. But I wasn't sure about the air and I thought I could win later on too, so I decided it's worse to s to um like kind of um um, yeah, stabilize mid to give uh, Juke uh, basically a pressure free game. I know always there is a risk when you let him get to take 3 um, because once the battle cruiser is out, um, you take 2 advantage you have with the Aeon destroyer against you, the UAF destroyer is gone and you have to retreat and wait for take 3 ships of your own. But now it looks like Zork is in full retreat. I'm not sure if he has to. Still has two destroyer here and a lot more frigates. Looks like Carlos wants to get rid of the sonar. It's not a bad choice, but he failed with 45 HP left. And uh, this is a Cyber sonar with this huge, uh, with its huge stealth radius. It's pretty good. You can see uh, this is the, the red uh, uh, stealth radius. Um, you cannot see it in the radius. Okay, pretty good. <coughs> Economy breakdown. Um, Slight lead in terms of mass for M and B. Also, actually, it looks like it was just fluctuating. And it's dead even in terms of mass, and it was also even. Uh, M and B is drawing more power, but I think his base power is it's the same. It was 8k. Um, of course, we all did res in time. Zog, yeah, or neither Zog nor M and B has. Uh, the rest notify uh, and that new juke box doesn't have it as well, so it is that is pretty annoying and it shouldn't happen. Uh, we should, I mean, the notify there there is really uh, um, no um, discussion about it. It's just a notify, and, and some people might argue about um, the <coughs> the whole energy sharing and uh, economy mod. But the Rust Notify is just uh, if you're not on Skype or Mumble or any other communication, it's so much better if you have it um, because it uh, saves time and also prevents from forgetting to notify your allies when you have RANs and stuff. I think everyone should have it. Uh, it, it doesn't, there, I think there is really no um, con, it's just uh, just pure advantage. Meanwhile, mm, uh, Galactic Fear uh, has more navy than Carlos, and about the same number of navy as Zok. Mm, that's mm -hmm. getting pretty, pretty tough over here it seems. There is a lot of... Th there is three destroyers, four Carlos, uh, Four dis three destroyer for Gala, three destroyer for Zok, and one destroyer for um, 
the jukebox. Actually, jukebox is uh, doing better than I expected. Usually, he did not pay that much attention, but this time it seems like uh, he woke up. That suck. I went take three seraphim maybe. I'm not sure if that is a really good choice. Mm. You do not want to have tech 3 subs um, against Cyber Navy. Mm. Anyway, he's making tech 2 destroyers, which, which is definitely the better choice right now. But of course, um, the investment into the tech 3 HQ is unknown. Um, there was a cruiser. Oh, the cruiser. There was mismanagement by Carlos. I think one of those uh, mobile missile launchers killed the cruiser here in this area, which is pretty annoying. And then there is a little tech 2 force um, for Galactic here trying to, um, to kill some Maxes for free. And he will have some success, but he will also drop a little reclaim and, and down to this horse. So I think. Um, yeah, nice push, but it's not uh, it's not a chip in that much. Meanwhile, we have a um, rather big air fight here, uh, and it seems you know, the Pluto is getting the better of it. Basically, the only thing MNV is not top is air micro. It's really I don't know why it's not. I mean, of course, it's you have to train it a little, but it's not that hard to do. There are just very few people who micro perfectly, but um, a lot of people just have no idea and uh, just basically do anti micro, <laughs> just fly, fly it a bit. Uh, the, the other ones always in the back, shouldn't happen. Uh, meanwhile, those frigates um, took off couple of engineers here. <coughs> so, um, Jukebox lost uh, some build power. Sock is still in the water, struggling here. Um, but, um, this is also an annoying destroyer over here because it will eventually kill those navy heads with the frigates just coming out one by one. Meanwhile, over here, um, not that much happening. Mm, I'm shooting some of Gala's economy. Um, I have a couple of uh, Tech 2 subs. I'm not a big fan of Tech 2 subs overall, but in the battle against UEF, I think they're pretty good. Uh, it forces uh, the other player to uh, make um, torpedo boats, which uh, weakens this force. Should pay more attention. There is a frigate getting shot for no reason. And, you know, I took a couple of hits. Huh? So, mm, Juke uh, getting our spam, which is good, and just in case uh, this build power is very you know, uh, decimated. So, more destroyers over here, so they're trying to um, cut uh, Zorg off on the edge. Uh, I guess those destroyers will try to kill the Tech 3 Maxes that are entirely unprotected. Zorg is upgrading this um, Tech 2, probably planning on building shields or artillery or some kind of defense. Um, but I guess those destroyers will be faster. In terms of score, um, winning the air fight gave a good to a lead in score. Um, mass wise, it's dead even, um, but MMB has more power, and when you consume more power, um, that always means you have a bigger asset outcome. Um, unless you invest it in something else, but all in general, um, the air production, uh, the production from the air player usually um, is a good indicator. Whatever the, the the air output is uh, pretty linear to the to the um, power consumption for the air player usually, so um, looks like M and B produces slightly more ASF 
but of course he is behind. So over here, um, this is uh, 12 dis 10 destroyers. Oops, against uh, Ice Crew who has 6 destroyers, 36 frigates, and you can see 15 torpedo boats. Of course, um, those torpedo boats, boats are very good against uh, the Tech 2 subs. Um, but uh, when you, just, uh, you you will see I will stop this uh, sub production rather soon and um, as soon as I stop uh, they are pretty damn weak against um, destroyers and now there is a whole lot of um, torpedo bombers don't know how many that is maybe like 20 30 no, 30 and, and then he killed my cruiser that was in this area in the first pass. I have one more incoming, um, but it's pretty annoying because it was the time I mean, wanted to attack with my incoming Tech 3 ships. <sighs> Over here, Zok uh, has a lot of Tech 2 torpedo launchers now, um, preventing, in Tech 1 torpedo launchers, preventing from getting anything close to kill the build power he has which is ok I think uh, there is a leak of cruiser here for um, in Carlos because in those situations cruiser are very nice because you um, just can put your destroyer if you have more destroyer but can't go in due to uh, top launchers and stuff or PDs or artilleries also um, you can always pack your cruiser outside and kill the build power, uh, which will uh, result in an even bigger advantage for your navy force. And um, yeah, while you can uh, kill engineers or maxes for free with the cruisers. So over here, um, this is a big uh, navy fight now. Um, the torps, they led one thing with air and navy. Uh, they, the other ships, do not have any AA. Just, just none. I mean, if, if I had like 12 siren destroyer here in that area, those torps might already have been killed. No. But with air, there is not a single DPS. So, um, I tried to save my subs now from the torpedo boats. Of course, Hukuto was smart enough to kill my sonar, so I have not uh, a whole vision. I have the bad attack ships, but I have less, so um, now there is the first battle cruiser out. So, Tech 3 UEF Navy, um, but this is very late for UEF to go Tech 3. 27 minutes is very, very late. Another two cruisers that died. Uh, there is another one coming in now, and there is an aircraft carrier. Of course, the um, aircraft carrier, I would say, has the best AA of all aircraft carriers because it doesn't miss. It does not have the highest DPS, but it doesn't miss, and it has huge range. So, uh, if I had to choose uh, which cruiser I pick just for AA, I would definitely pick the Iron cruiser. Mm, it looks like uh, Zog got the battleship out, um, which is pretty good, especially because it can kill potential cruisers uh, without getting shot uh, by destroyers. Because it has a range advantage. And he earns himself a nice uh, reclaim field if he can uh, stabilize this position. Definitely looks like he can. <coughs> Galactic Field still uh, spreading some terror, even if it's just four engineers, it is annoying. Uh, um, the PD might eventually kill this. Thing. Uh, uh, pretty close. The tank escapes. <coughs> but. but um, the Tempest, if it's not missing, no, the 
there was a headshot with the gun. <laughs> and meanwhile, over here, um, I should uh, probably um, get my subs out here. Um, it's not good to fight um, UAF uh, torpedo boats or subs. There is just one best cruiser in this area. And, um, there is four Tech 3 ships and one Tempest. So at this point I'm pretty confident. And depending on, on how much more air support he gets, but um, I think this is good. He will have to retreat, and uh, this is mass field is huge. Mm. In terms of economy, uh, uh, M and B uh, has a slight lead, uh, like 30 mass more, um, and uh, still 6k more power consumption. So um, he should eventually win air. Mm. I have by far the biggest economy in terms of mass. Um, Ice Crow um, actually did a very good job on economy. Um, he is just 100 mass behind, uh, 110, uh, which is uh, pretty uh, good for a beach pair. Uh, he seems to have uh, way more um, power. Um, he was spamming Tech 3 Pigeon and he is spamming the nuke. Spamming the nuke, <laughs> that's bullshit. Uh, he's just, uh, he just built a nuke and totally supported. And, um, Well, over here, um, Sock really um, stayed in water here. Um, let's take three battleship um, allowed to, to secure this area. Um, all the mass is already, well, this area is already reclaimed, but there is still some nice chunks left, and uh, there is more mass incoming, so it's pretty good. Um, jukebox. Um, is has like a little more than half the economy from Gala. Um, you should really rebuild this mix, for example. Or when, I mean, there is a better ship, however. You should try to rebuild it. Still has a lot of tech to max this. Four tech to max this. Anyway, he's uh, trying to have lock out and uh, lock is holding and looks good. Mm, looks like uh, Gaila took some time out. I'm mm, not sure uh, what it was for, probably for the spider. Because um, Gaila just has like two ships now. So he probably stopped a bit when he saw they would not uh, succeed immediately with the rush and uh, pause to get up uh, his economy and uh, you know, kind of rush on the spider or build it in a short period of time. So um, now you know, this Tempest here is shooting on frigates. Probably not the best choice, but over here. Um, there is UAF battleships under shields. Of course, the UAF battleship is just the best, and it's not even close. It has the best range. It has a huge uh, damage per um, shot. Um, this is uh, really the best battleship. It also has huge splash damage. Um, a lot of HPs. 48 to 51k. The Aeon battleship is faster moving, um, but the range disadvantage is just too much. Also, the ZUAF battleship is um, missing a lot less shots than uh, other battleships, especially. In the so, hmm, let's do an ASF count. Just uh, have a look at um, 86 ASF for Hokuto. 
I probably missed in the upright in the meantime. And 95 for MNB. So MNB has a slight lead. Um, and uh, given that he has 10k more power and 130 more mass income, um, so I think um, he should not give away his lead until the end of the game. But of course, we don't know what's going to happen. I remember, um, I, I missed this. Um, um, there was a GC being built um, mainly. Um, they they both uh, um, built it here. Um, I gave uh, those three maxes to the, the project three maxes to M and B when he built it. Um, Stop the spider. Jude um, must move the GC in. You should never let the spider escape. I remember loading up some engineers already. Um, you see it here. Um, because I knew the spider would lose to the GC and uh, uh, always wants, want to suck up mass as fast as possible. So. Galactic Fury is complaining about Akuto because Akuto did not scout ahead and Gala just uh, wasted spider and donated mass and the GC did not even get hit and it lost like 2k HP so it was a nice mass gift by Galactic Fury uh, which was something you rarely see by him he usually doesn't um, do actions like this and if you, I think the, the the other option is if your air player doesn't scout, you just do not send it, or you scout yourself or whatever, but just to send it in blind and it's kind of a risk. <coughs> Still is full tech two. No, yes, tech three. Now he's making battleships, but he has none on the battlefield yet. So mm -hmm. let's check how much reclaim Zog already got. He's already up to 75k uh, reclaim. So um, his uh, economical disadvantage on the beach uh, should not be. Uh, that significant anymore because uh, he got more than uh, compensated with that um, reclaim he got. Well, um, let's check how much uh, Carlos got. Carlos got 20k reclaim. Uh, Gala got 55k reclaim. Jukebox got 31k reclaim. 42 for me, 26 for Ice Pro, 28 for MMB, and 15 for Hukuta. They are discussing where to shoot that nuke. Of course, um, that nuke. He must be success because he's really on the back step here. Um, he has, uh, however, um, a few trouble spam, uh, which will, um, which is pretty good against those low frequency, uh, or those low uh, frequency shooting of the battleships. So it will force me um, to. Um, to make tech to navy again, or change to another faction, or make gunships also, because uh, those will not die that easy to the battleships. However, he has just three battleships detected. left, and there is five, six, seven battleships in the tempest. 
line of damage to this thing, huh? This Tempest already uh, to star better than 23. That's 54 kills. Nuke. And another nuke. Uh, Hawk also has a nuke. Yeah, Hakuto always builds a nuke. You can be sure he will build one. Mm. Funny, he even does it sometimes when he is on the navy spot and is losing navy. Mm. Not sure where this will go ahead, but I would definitely have nuked here. Not nuked the same. Well, this might also be in a play spot because we kill the nuke defense. But, uh, that means uh, future nukes can hit also. I really hope. Uh, for Kuto, for the top side, that Kuto mutes like here, somewhere. Mm, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Maybe this is actually the perfect place. We should be able to get that navy. Yeah. There was kind of a devastating blow for Zok. Uh, But as long as he can still weekly, and uh, has enough factories to produce build power fast enough, um, he can be fine. Especially given that he, at the moment, um, has more ships. He is actually loading a nuke in that battleship. I think that's really risky. You should uh, babysit this um, um, battleship should probably be somewhere here, just shooting from distance, keeping out of direct fire. But this will go down now. So nuke is gonna die. Uh M B meanwhile having a huge horror spell and even more planned um, to save this beach. Over here, oh, this is bad. They get a uh, double shot, that should not uh, happen. You should always try to spread them when you play against UAF and battleships because of the splash damage. And there was a nice art artillery drop by MB here. And then uh, we'll kill the rest of the build crowd that's left. Mm, I'm not sure, this is probably the GC that uh, defended against the uh, um, spider. Seventy clerks now for the Tempest, another air fight. Um, I'm not sure. That is a good place to fight because um, this is already the place where I um, have a lot of reclaim engines. Also, there are um, at least three aircraft carriers. Um, two of uh, them are shooting the torpedoes, of course. <sighs> but anyway, means more reclaim for me, which is good. I don't know from where are all the battleships from Carlos. I mean, Carlos is like 360 mass income. I don't know why. Oh, and Carlos gave the island. To Carlos gave the island to um, Galactic Fear. Interesting move. So Galactic Fear um, is actually one of the best economies mass wise. Only second to me and ice cream. Actually pretty tight with ice cream. There 
Let's take three navy for jukebox now as well. Or I miss the outcome of the um, ASF fight, but uh, who put the one? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 31. He has 115 ASF left. Uh, 242. So um, he's definitely uh, in control of air now. Um, still has um, economy at disadvantage in terms of power. M and B has lost some of its economy. Well, it's not lost though. It uh, has been given to so mm, This is um, 27, this is 31. No, it's actually just 33 mass each, so it's uh, 66 mass given to Tsok. And so he can support 11 factories for a spam and with those two maxes and uh, the mass fabs around. So. Mm, yeah. This might be slightly more than 11, but um, yeah, he's helping. Mm. Meanwhile, there is more torpedo bombers coming in, mm, but um, there is no battleship left. And there is five battleships and two tempest left, and the aircraft carries and stuff. So. There is a Megalus for Gala. And the back uh, walking Megalus against the GC uh, will, uh, of course, win. I mean, it will win even if it uh, faces one by one, but I think um, Duke should run. He does. Um, this is a pretty annoying situation now because. There is nothing with the range of the Megalus uh, that's shooting maybe that battleship, but um, now there is actually a lead in terms of battleship. Of course, uh, we should always remember it. So, put new cavalry here and lost all his build power, so uh, this advantage uh, is natural. Um, but it doesn't make things easier for the bottom side here to defend. There is a new D here. For M and B, and another one for M and B. So M and B has two built two nukes for the front. He is built, has one nuke here and another here, so it's actually pretty safe. Uh, he does not have one back here, so um, actually he is sometime back. I think this um, was the only nuke you needed in the back base. Um, and let they have heavily heavy nukes, but now with the um, Tech 3 nuke sub uh, becoming much more popular, I would always recommend the second back here because it's uh, not unlikely that uh, Gala uh, has a Tech 3 sub shooting like from down here uh, into the back base, so um, that's always a risk. Um, and uh, still air domination for Hukuto here, uh, who is building, uh, or still building, I should say, torpedo bombers. Um. <coughs> I am, I'm not sure if that is a good choice, because it will just um, delay. I do not think there is any chance um, um, Ice Core will ever get out of it. It might take some time, and the hover spam uh, might uh, help him uh, hold, but I think uh, this is uh, just uh, not that he will ever get back into the water. Mm -hmm. So maybe it would have been the better choice for Hukuto to to, um, uh, to try to make Gala and Carlos win, rather than uh, try to detected. delay the loss over here. Um, oh, that might be. I remember Zok uh, starting his gases. And uh, giving me a couple of engineers. And at that point, I'm on heavy reclaim. Uh, don't know, let's check the reclaim numbers now. Uh, now like 105, 28 for MB. Uh, Ukuto, still 15. He's a bit, um, a bit lazy. 
when it comes to reclaim. I scroll. Uh, stopped on 35k. Zuck, uh, also 100k reclaim. Gala, 75k. Gala stopped on 25. And the uh, Duke uh, has 36k. So, in terms of reclaim, uh, the, the, the both uh, Navy players from the bottom team have a huge lead. Mm. Mm, now we see a nuke here. This was a nuke shot by Hakuto. Um. Mm. I'm not convinced that um, there was a good uh, target. Did not or did he? Uh, he got the tech screen area. Yeah, then it might be okay. I'm not, not sure. I'm not, not even sure if um, they have a good idea where all the new keys are. They know about this, they know about this, so they're not gonna nuke the front. They have no idea about the scarces being built, so of course, otherwise, they could have nuked the area here. They have not scouted my base, which is nice, so they have no idea about my new key here, here, and I have a new key here also, so they are just uh, not uh, scouting as much. Uh, Hakuto is still building top bombers, and still sending them against me, which is good, because. Uh, just send them against me. Uh, they're not uh, sent to Zox side, and I can easily absorb it. This is a um, Percival job with uh, four Percys and two transports. Should shooting. I think this JC should just run the total waste now to send it in. It also, the wreckage will fall in a bad place. It from the way it looks now, um, this terrain will not um, be very easy for us to get the reclaim for this uh, for the bottom team. So um, I would recommend uh, never having moved forward. Just try to hide somewhere here and uh, fight the Megalith uh, when he has a chance. As well as you can see, the Megalith didn't take damage from any of the GC. They both died uh, without shooting anything. It is, uh, over 50k mass wasted. So now the Megalith is uh, pretty much uncontested. There was just one battleship that I positioned there. The navy is also shooting the front base, so it looks like the front base is doomed. Ice Core, of course, has not scouted the island uh, for a long time, so he doesn't know about uh, the Sams that I put in here. Now he sees it. And he sees the new key. The tech 3 subs mm, um, grow in value when when um, people uh, start uh, spamming heavy battleships because the battleships don't have uh, very good torpedoes, so um, those are pretty pretty good late game. They're not that good against destroyers. Um, they're good against UF destroyers, of course, but uh, not against Cybern or especially bad against air. They're okay -ish against the uh, Seraphim, I would say. Uh, 
the front base gets killed, the Megalith is still not um, There's really nothing to stop it at the moment. M and B uh, just having one engineer uh, on the Awasa. Uh, still topping going on. I um, hide my Tempest underwater. It's not very useful against all those uh, reptiles coming in, but you can see that it gives me clear view of his base um, because the Tempest is such a nice unit with a great intel so it's um, my little monitoring station for uh, what's going on in this base and we can see more torps coming in yeah, it's, this was given um, Juke pointed it out but uh, Zuck did not notice for uh, like 15 minutes uh, game time that he got those engineers even he was told a couple of times he mm. needs some mass didn't use them <coughs> this gas is done now um, I'm not even sure if it's needed now because um, it looks like the United Forces over here um, hover spam, um, subs, top launcher creep, uh, battleships, and it looks like this Navy uh, attempts to put on a hold. Um, the Megalith on 121 kills already. Uh, how much stars is it? 3 stars or so? I guess three stars. Oh, pretty successful Megalith. Um, he's walking backwards. Of course, the Megalith is so huge um, in size. Uh, it has some trouble with uh, huge artillery spam. And it's um, getting isolated now. When the Navy is pushing back the battleships, um, this Megalith is pretty much alone getting shot in the back there is a lonely gunship here <laughs> so ice core actually doing pretty good I think um, this is a huge hover spam and it uh, will um, momentarily uh, um, put my or <laughs> my navy loss or uh, my navy win on a hold yeah. You can see I changed to Seraphim destroyers, um, moved all my build power to the Seraphim uh, navy yards um, because air navy with a low frequency shooting frequency just sucks against hover. And you want the Seraphim destroyers there, um, the best ship probably mass by mass against hover spam. Um, the battle cruiser of UEF also is very good, but. I think uh, mass wise the destroyer is probably even better. Not sure, it might be the same. Anyway, you want beam weapons against hover spam. So. Uh, Ice Pro, build a nuke, but no nuke B. Um, I do not like it that much. But the nuke actually did a good job. Um, even though he didn't fire it at me. <coughs> this is a Tempest uh, for Jukebox. This was a new somewhere. <laughs> I don't think it was a good choice. Electric beer mm, wasn't so good to start the Maver. Mm, when I see this base, well actually, um, I'm sorry guys, I missed it. Um, 
must have been some kind of air fight in which uh, M and B uh, won the air. The electric field is um, pissed because Okuto doesn't have tech 3A <coughs> already in his base. He, he is spamming some now, but he has zero AA here in the back base. And this allows um, uh, M and B to deny production, uh, which has basically become impossible nowadays um, with the huge splash damage of the SAMs. Um, basically, five SAMs in your main base can ensure that uh, uh, you cannot block your production because it's such a huge loss and you will drop also a huge mass if it does so um, yeah. back in GPG it was pretty common you win air and you can patrol for 5 minutes over your opponent's airbase uh, simply because um, those uh, had no splash damage and it would take forever to to, to kill 200 ASF with a couple of SAM launchers. That has changed, so um, air um, denial um, is not really possible anymore, of course, unless uh, there is no SAM launcher, then you can control forever. So. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we missed it, but uh, well, I can tell you uh, there was an Omni sensor, Tech 3 Max, uh, Nuke D. Uh, and uh, a couple of Tech 3 pigeons uh, along a quantum gateway and uh, was all killed by uh, those two uh, battleships over here. Now uh, this is uh, basically the end of the game incoming. Uh, this is an Awasa uh, uh, for MNB with total air domination. Hikuto has uh, zero ASF. Well, no, not zero. He has two ASF left. And uh, there is also a problem. Uh, you should always, when you're in, in a position like this, put a Tech 2 shield here and here. It uh, prevents from uh, first hit Awasas uh, to kill all your SAM launchers. Uh, which I guess will happen now. We will see. But I bet MNB hits this spot. No, he doesn't. Oh, he goes for this spot probably. I don't know. Mm, looks like not the perfect Amazon Micro. Mm, we'll probably now uh, go for the main production. Still no Sam Launcher here. Mm. Navy fight over here is still going on. Five battleships uh, for Carlos. Uh, but of course, battleships uh, can shoot subs with ground fire, but it's really hard if someone is paying attention. We will miss most of the time. So the Awasa uh, got very nice kills, probably now uh, not on full vet yet. Full vet is 78k, I think. And uh, still coming back from more. Hukuto, still no shield here. Um, and I'm pretty sure uh, MNB will go for the SAM launchers. Actually, that's what I would do. Um, and he does so. Yeah, and that was a perfect shot now on full vet. And no ASF uh, left, and no SAM launchers left, and just one Tech 3 engineer left, and basically no build power in this whole base. So, this is uh, a tragedy. Mm, what is Gala doing? Gala has uh, a lot of uh, RAS SCUs, and a Tech 3 commander, mm, not with lasers. So. Uh. I think um, this game is pretty much done now. Mm. Mm. There is really there is no other air production. Also, um, Gala is making Sams, but there is no hope uh, that this Awasa will ever be killed. mass left in this ocean. A couple of restore and the navy and well, this base will disappear rather soon. Sock. Uh, still uh, creeping with the sand launchers and the subs. 
and the huge rubber spam. This tempest will go underwater now, and uh, we've been getting shot. Another tempest done. Gunships now for M and B. So it looks like oh, this navy will also lose. Oh, I missed actually how the Megalith died, but probably due to a combination of artillery and uh, uh, tempest fire. There is a chicken for M and B uh, walking up the front. Uh, oh. Well, there is not much left of this front base anyway. Galactic Fear still has 300 uh, mass income, and this is uh, due to uh, 60 mass income from those SCUs, 15 or 13 from his commander, and uh, of course he has the full Tech 3 island. Yeah. Gunships, uh, oh, Kuto uh, has had enough. Yeah. So, uh, saying thank you to Duke. And uh, actually, we knew Duke works a bit better uh, than expected. Did not get overrun by Gala. I'm not sure how hard Gala tried to overrun him uh, because he transitioned to Navy pretty quick, but uh, he holds his own. He got some reclaim. Um, and he, he also uh, realized fast that he has to do Navy. Um, Gala did it all a little better, but uh, I think Juke played a good game here. Uh, one thing to note, Juke, uh, for future games, you do not need uh, 12 HQs or so. You just need one, and then the other ones can upgrade for cheap. That is the case since over a year, I think. Since we have engine mode, so we see at the end of the game, this base is gone. The last few flags. And actually, this was a spawning <laughs> take one engineers. With 307 kills, it's huge. Gala is getting some upgrade. Probably teleport. And then the laser. I score and die to the star. GG's are called. I was uh, still bombing. Mm, Carlos getting some slam launchers. But, uh, this. Also, this Navy uh, is in the process of dying. Mm, let's do a last check and reclaim numbers. So, 155, Gala, 125. Carlos 28. So Carlos really did not get or did not try to get reclaimed, it seems. Mm, jukebox. Is that juke? 197 reclaim. Wow. He got huge mass due to reclaim. Uh, even though he did not rebuild his maxes for 10 minutes. But um, I think uh, he did a pretty good job on the reclaim part. Um, I have 231 k reclaim and MB stopped reclaiming at 28k. Sox still did not use his engineers to get mass. Cool. Restore mm, skill, killing the rest of the back base. The armors are still alive, bombing uncontested. 325 kills, 5 stars, full health. Mm. Mm. Navy lost in both oceans. Chicken walking in for um, MB. Mm. 
I think they gave up some time ago. It's just. Uh, bombing this position. <coughs> well, there are not many other spots to bomb, but this spot is heavily protected by um, AA and shields. And now the chicken, however, uh, I think those just have rest. And, uh, like the fear gives up. Here at mid 50. Get my power down that time. Let's go and before it's done. So this one was well, the nail in the coffin, I would say. Insane amount of girls. was not necessary but it was good it was there um, so <laughs> this game ends faster so there's uh, very, very clean like nothing left At first, I was like, it's getting more kills. 400 kills now. And Carlos really is uh, you know, the brave warrior. Uh, he never gives up. Sometimes you have to convince him to give up if you want to start another game. But, uh, sometimes he does, sometimes he. Um, or actually, almost always, unless you really ask him, uh, he always fights till his commander dies. So. And second, I was with 121 kills. One bombing. Okay. Now we're checking where okay, Carlos. You're at minute 52. Um, yeah. so. uh, I think it was uh, um, uh, the teams. Uh, I think each spot um, was kind of imbalanced. We had uh, both uh, slightly better Navy players. Uh, we did not have air for the most part of the game, and um, they had Gala up front with an advantage, uh, so that made up <coughs> for an uh, for an interesting uh, game. It was not uh, one of the fast-paced games uh, that I cast earlier today. I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, watching, and uh, uh, see you for the next cast.